Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel Siblings React and Drink. Woo. My name is Rick. This is my lovely sister. Dennis. And what are we doing today? So right now we're about to watch the last episode of The Pacific. Episode number 10. Yeah. What's this one called? Home. Home. It's called Home. Country Road. <laughs> Take me home. Mm -hmm. Is that what they're talking go. about? We don't know. I guess uh, they're going home. Yeah. I mean, you would think that's, you know, that's what it's going to be. Last episode, they were talking about they were getting uh, Cokes and steaks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess mm -hmm. it's kind of like a celebration. Uh, they were talking about the the bomb, right? That annihilated yes. a whole city. Mm -hmm. uh, atomic bomb. Yeah. So I'm sure we're going to see the, Man. you know, surrender of, sur the surrender of Japan and they're going home. More over. What's it called? Uh, mm. Victory over Japan Day. Okay. Which was in August, September of 45. Mm -hmm. 46, 46. I don't know, man. I lost, I've lost. forgotten more stuff in my years mm -hmm. than you guys will never know. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you young guys. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, what are we drinking? So we're having vodka with uh, cranberry apple juice. Cheers to that, Masrovia. Ah, that's the fondo. Oh, so good, huh? Oh, nice and strong. The flavor, nice and cold. Well, we needed something for this last episode of the Pacific, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's been a long road. Yeah. We did... Uh, Band of Brothers first. Band of Brothers and uh, the Pacific. Mm-hmm. Back to back. Yeah. So it's been a long road, yeah. indeed. And yeah. Now we're going home on a country road. I hope they're going home. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you like it. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Click the notification bell because that way you'll notify when we post new videos. Right now we're doing lots of stuff. Uh, Game of Thrones. By the time you're seeing this, we'll probably be doing House of the Dragon again, season two. Definitely we keep going uh, Game of Thrones and lots of movies yep and that's it so we got I've been drinking all day and uh i think that's all i said oh so join the channel be becoming a member to the channel not only you're supporting us your favorite reactors <laughs> <laughs> hopefully and uh that will definitely help us out uh bring more videos to you you'll yeah. get ad free early uh, access there's a lot of good stuff guys uh, check it out and join. Which is called Home. August 15, 1945. St. Albans Military Hospital, Long Island, New York. Okay, he goes in the hospital. Billy still wept for thinking of his dear comrade. Ah, the Odyssey. And all they had gone through. Oh, uh, Lucky. Oh, no, sure we are. It's really in the funnies. And the waves of the weary seas. Yeah, the last thing they want to read is about Achilles. I got Snookums, <laughs> Phantom, and Blondie. Hey, I remember Blondie. Mm hmm. The ship surrendered. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you hear that? War's over, guys. Peace Here and prosperity go. to the world, finally. Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. Now that's something to celebrate. Should have popped their champagne. Party time. Yeah, but people, soldiers keep dying like we saw in uh, in Band of Brothers, right? People drunk and shooting and crashing. Yeah. Soldiers keep dying because of yeah. too much partying. Can't believe it's over, huh? I'm sure they couldn't even believe it. Yeah. Have a little VJ Day party of your own. Okay. Because uh, probably the officers are the ones partying down there. <laughs> they share some booze with them. Okay. Not bad. Yeah. Still don't like you though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you what I'm doing now. So somebody <laughs> said this guy's job uh, when they joined either voluntarily or or drafted, he was they signed up for the duration of the war. Oh There's yeah. No time limit. Right. Plus six months. Yeah. Official act of peacetime. 
First peace time drink. Wow. What the heck are they drinking? Bourbon? Scotch? Nah, uh, looks like Johnny Walker. Yeah, it did look like Johnny Walker. All right, Eugene, what are you gonna do now? You've lost your innocence uh, look. <laughs> yeah. You've seen s stuff and you've done stuff. Yep. Just gotta go get a job now. That doesn't require killing people. Yeah. Oh, this guy. Oh, no, yeah. Lickie's going home. You gyrenes, you got nothing but jungle rot and malaria. Mm. Welcome home. So this guy's a paratrooper, he said. Yeah. He might have jumped into Normandy. Right. But, yeah. I was surprised they didn't, they didn't have any uh, overlap. They could have had some of the characters from Band of Brothers. Yeah, they could have. I thought they might. They could have yeah. been in Melbourne at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow. Oh my God, it's Betty Buckley. Who? Her. Who's that? She's the one that was in Carrie the other day, the, the gym teacher. Really? Yeah. It looks like her. I'll find out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I gotta see her in shorts. <laughs> Man, these parents weren't so excited to welcome him back. I mean... No. It was almost like they weren't expecting him, I guess, well, you know? Well, they wanted the nest to stay empty. Mm. Don't you got somewhere else to go, son? Didn't you write us about some girl in Melbourne? I mean, I, I almost wonder if it's because to protect themselves they would just assume that he wasn't coming back? Could be, could be. They, you know, they all have to... Thanks, I still want to take another train, but one that has a party car. A real, <laughs> yeah. Hiya. Well, here you go, Snafu. Yep. How about I take you to the back of the train? You can show me your caboose. <laughs> Damn. You gotta work on your... Your text. No sign of Florence. No Florence. Uh oh. Nah, Florence is not got knocked out by the your best friend. Hmm. But they went oh, through I was that. Oh fuck. I was wondering if we're gonna see her. Yeah, she's coming to see the in-laws, I guess. Mm. Fuck. Mrs. Bazalone. I'm Lena. So they didn't go to the wedding, huh? Man, how hard for her. Like, yeah. this is their first meeting under these circumstances, you know? I thought you should have this. Was that the, the medal? Purple, his Purple Heart that he got in No, he got the Congressional Medal. Before. Oh, it was a Congressional, yeah. I don't know. He, he got the one he earned uh, in... Medal of Honor. Yeah. It's the highest one he could get. Yeah. That's the one he... That's why they send him on tour and everything right. else. Right, right, right. Give me the fucking thing. <laughs> fuck, man. What the fuck's wrong with me crying every fucking movie? Oh, the poor mom. All of them. I feel bad for all of them. And when did you see me demoting him and hiring you? Today's good. Today. <laughs> Bosco prep this afternoon. Kickoff is at three, so. I better get going. <laughs> Don't we talk about salary? Ten dollar a week raise will do it. I will give you seven. I'd have taken five. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. This guy came guns blazing, huh? Yeah. After surviving that airfield uh, slaughter. Mm. This is easy peasy. Writing about sports, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Alright. Better start writing letters to Melbourne then. What? Oh, Vera. Right, right, right. Yeah. Your dress blues. You've never even worn them. Yeah, mommy like asking me if you, you want me to send me, send you your, your, your gala uniform? Because he was in freaking battle. I think you would have looked nice in them. Yeah, they don't know what to, how to act or say either. But. Yeah. I'm telling you, they probably had 
thought he wasn't coming back, like a lot of people, you know. I mean, he's the baby one, too, of the family, he said, right? So they had like seven kids already or something? Yeah. yeah. He should have made a pit stop in. Oh, no. Now, fools from New Orleans, of course. Doesn't surprise me. It's probably a vampire. <laughs> well, no goodbyes then. I think he did play a vampire in uh, Twilight. <laughs> one of the Twilight really? movies. He was, he was in that? Yeah. The last one, I want to say. Or one of the last ones. It's a kind of smaller role, but still there. Alright, so no goodbyes. Oh, he put on his uniform. <laughs> Mm. I guess he's going all out. See, the mom helped. Drop that zero and come to the hero. Mrs. Keller. Yes. She doesn't recognize him. Wow. Jesus, lady. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> he's like, I she doesn't know him. Come on, lady. 20 years. Bob Lecky. <laughs> You're back. That's not good. Call them by both names. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice try. She's not interested. <laughs> Actually, I don't have any plans for tomorrow night. Damn. Shit. So she does like them. Actually, you don't have any plans tonight either, baby. <laughs> she does that to me. You don't have plans tonight either. Sorry. <laughs> See you later. Mm. <laughs> I don't have them anymore. Rain on Cape Gloucester erased every word. Uh. Yeah. You probably got them all in your mind. Yeah. Oh, oh, his friend. Oh, yeah. Boy. Good to see you, Eugene. Hmm. But why, why did this guy come home, though? If it's the uh, duration plus six. But this guy, they were sending him home early. Oh, I love the uh, Spanish moss. Yeah. <sighs> See, the cars only had one brake light. Yeah. Okay. He wants to make a dramatic entrance. Mm. See you later. Welcome home, Jim. Welcome home. It's a miracle how anyone survived, huh? Yeah. Oh, I just remember his dog died, huh? Yeah. Oh. So sad <laughs> to get home and not have your little doggy. He's green. knocking. Instead of just going in. He had a brother too, the right that was uh, yeah. in the army or something. Yeah. I wonder if he made it. Ah, uh, she's gonna break something. Hmm. They don't something. know he's coming or what? What's the deal? I'm sure he didn't tell them. None of the guys told anybody. Well, some of them did, but. Mother. Well, good. She didn't faint. <laughs> yeah, I thought she was going to break something. So tell us some stories. <laughs> yeah. How about the time uh, I took some gold teeth out of <laughs> the full stop me? <laughs> Sorry, I don't have any proper mealtime stories. Hmm. Man, how nice for them to have their sons back, you know? Yeah. No. That was not his uh, experience. He did pick up a sword one time and he threw it back. You remember he... Yeah. But I know I'll keep waking her up. Hmm. Should I do that? I don't have PTSD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
There you go. Medicine. A little ivy bourbon to help with everything. All the rat fruit will fall off the tree right at your feet. No. Yeah, marine uniforms are pretty, pretty cool. Mm. Not a lick of sense in you. <laughs> <laughs> I think they can always wear the uniform, even if they're not in the art in the service anymore. Yeah. But still, a marine, they get to wear the uniform. Yeah. If they want to, for special occasions. And did you attend any special schools while in the Marine Corps? Sure. Mm. Uh, just boot okay. camp. My teacher snuff. My teacher snuff out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you do any accounting? <laughs> no, miss. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a measure distances. <laughs> Not at all. Any engineering, technical skill? He's like starting from scratch, you know. Okay. Get on with the program, lady. They taught me how to kill chimps. <laughs> I got pretty damn good at it. You were good at distances, man. And, you know, you were, like, calling in, like, the artillery strikes and whatever. Yeah. And other stuff, probably, that he hasn't thought about. Come on, man. Don't tell me you're going to be a virgin all your life. Come on. It's not well, part of it. He's like shy too, you know? Yeah. So it doesn't help And he him. refuses to wear the uniform, see? So... Mm. Yeah, he's still not ready, man. You know, it's... Can't make any sense out of this. Yeah. It's a masquerade ball. Yeah, I was a war during the day and went to night school. <laughs> yeah. Sitting here to dance, drinking punch. Look, I mean, what the hell are we doing here? You're right, they weren't injured, huh? Yeah, they got lucky. Except for the rather mental injuries. For a while, anyway. Hmm, yeah. Sit. Gotta learn to live with that, I guess. Shit. Okay, so what are you gonna do, man? I don't think they had any mental health. Uh, yeah. Not as much as now. What do you call it? Yeah. There isn't but two hours of programs. Hundred dollars a set. Just <laughs> <laughs> buy one as soon as I have the money for a down payment. On a reporter's salary? Yeah, with well, this railroad strike, it's crippled traffic. Hey, this Vera, having mm -hmm. dinner with them. Bob, mm. we all appreciate the sacrifice you made on our account. You know what I fought for? <laughs> mm. Hey, and the Japanese made Tony. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy mm. name. So Lecky is still. I will be down on earth I mean, as it is in heaven. He knows not to pick fights for gusto, you know? Yeah, yeah. Get our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass again. Looks like he was going to get into an argument with the other guy, whoever he was. Temptation, but deliver yeah. us from evil. And he changed it. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. <laughs> he's looking at his that's good looking. she goes you're staring yeah. you go I'm sorry no I'm not sorry yes <laughs> I will stare yeah. and <laughs> they're wrong with staring yeah I will see what happens with Eugene man I hope he doesn't he doesn't end bad yeah I think we're hunting, hunting. Mm -hmm. yeah because uh, Eugene don't want to hunt either left that old fence down by the creek. Oh, they're working. No, they're hunting. What do you shoot with a shotgun? Ducks? Been looking forward to this morning for a long time. Just the two of us and a grand morning. Oh.
Uh oh. What? Oh shit. I can't. It's alright. <laughs> we know this guy that came back from, you know, Afghanistan. He went with his family to Disneyland and, mm. you know, at night they do the fireworks show. Oh yeah. He lost it. I can imagine. He grabbed his daughter, threw it on the ground, his wife, and he got on top of them. Yeah. Hey, maybe this was some part of the therapy, you know? Yeah, well, at least he's letting it out. To it's better than, you know, not... Let it out, you know? Yeah. You look like a gangster with those glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a career path. Your brother's coming for supper this evening. Evidently, he's been named some kind of supervisor at the bank. Better get our money out of that bank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Mm. Well, okay, at least he knows what he doesn't want. Future. Yeah. I plan to do nothing for a while. How long is a while, Eugene? To ease us, lady. Hello, Mary Frank. I mean, she's worried about him, you know? He's not a boy. But he's acting like one. He has no idea. Idea what men like him have been through. Yeah, but she's worried, you know, she's his mom. Be. Look, sometimes people need to be pushed, but you have to know when yeah, to push, yeah. you know? It can't be before he's ready. And he said Ooh. he needs some time. He needs some time to get back to reality. See, that's a big glass. See? Bigger than this one. <laughs> I'm gonna get you one of those Luis Miguel uh, glasses, like the oh, big. Oh yeah, that'll yeah. be good. Freaking goblet. Yeah. Mm. All right, so you don't want to chase women. You don't want to go to work. At least you know you don't want to be a soldier anymore. And you don't want to work at a bank. So. It's progress. <laughs> I'm gonna narrow it, narrow it down. I wonder what Snafu's doing. Yeah. Is he a musician in New Orleans or? Snafu, he's he's partying in the French Quarter. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's taking advantage of that uniform. Mm. Oh, that's a real one. Oh. He earned a PhD in biology, then spent a career teaching at the University of Montevallo in Alabama. Teacher, okay. From notes he kept throughout the war, Eugene eventually wrote his memoir with the old breed at Pelilu, Okinawa, which was published in 1981. Survived by his wife, two sons, and three grandchildren. Eugene died in 2001. Oh, okay. Robert Leckie. And that's the real one. Looks like him. Married Vera Keller in 1946 and became a correspondent for the Associated Press. He wrote nearly 40 books, including his combat what? memoir, Helmet for My Pillow, in 1957. Robert died in 2001, same year. Same year. He is survived by Vera, three children, and six grandchildren. Wow. Yeah, I lived a long life. John Bass alone. That's him. Mm. Was awarded a posthumous Navy Cross and Purple Heart for his actions in Iwo Jima. Since 1945, stamps have been issued with his likeness. Ships and highways have been christened in his honor. A stamp, okay. John is remembered every year with a parade in his hometown of Reseton, New Jersey. Re oh, Reseton. in New Jersey, not California. Lena Bassalone. Yeah. There she is. Was told on her 32nd birthday that her husband had been killed in Iwo Jima. Oh, it was on her birthday. Wow. They had been married for only seven months. She never remarried and died in 1999. How sad. Runner Bud Conley.
returned to Buffalo, New York in November 1944. He married his childhood friend, Marietta, and sold cars for over 40 years. Okay. But died in 1997, survived by six children, 11 grandchildren, and nine great 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 children. Grandchildren. Hoosier Bill Smith. Okay, remember him? Survived the wounds he suffered on Peleliu. He returned to his hometown of Lugut, Indiana, got married and raised four children. Bill died in 1985. Okay. Chuckler, Lou Jurgens. The turkey shoot guy. Hmm. Oh, last time we saw him, he was on a stretcher. Was honorably discharged from the Marine Corps two weeks after the war's end. He married and worked as a steam lifter in Chicago, Illinois. A steam fitter, sorry. He remained close friends with Bob Leckie, runner, and Hoosier, and he died in 1982. Hmm. Snafu, Mariel Shelton. Yeah, Stayed in Louisiana, be. worked in the lumber business, married, and had two sons. Okay. Marisol did not speak with his fellow Marines for over 35 years until... He read Sledge's book with the old breed at Peleliu and Okinawa. Sledgehammer served as a pallbearer at the Fu's funeral in 1993. Mm. Bill Layden. Oh, this was the guy with, yeah, one of the new guys. Became a professional golfer after recovering from his wounds received in Okinawa. He corresponded regularly with other veterans, including Eugene Sledge, until passing away in 2008. Hugh Cor Corrigan. So he died. He was like their captain. Was promoted to captain and married Elizabeth Vincent in 1944 while stationed in the U.S. He returned to action and was wounded in Okinawa in 1945. After the war, he and his wife lived in Ithaca, New York, until his death in 2005. <coughs> Louis Chesty Puller. <laughs> Looks a lot He's one of the most de decorated Marines in the history of the Corps. His extraordinary career spanned from World War I through Korea. Wow. Chesty retired wars. in 1955, passed away in 1971. Clifford Steve Evan Evanson. I remember him. Was 17 years old when he was killed in action in Iwo Jima. Man. Chuck Tatum. Okay, remember him. Thought he died too. <clears throat> oh no, he's the one that got was promoted. Was awarded a bronze star for his service in Iwo Jima. After the war, he designed and drove race cars. He lives in Stockton, California. Hmm. Romus Valton Bergen. Married his Australian sweetheart, Florence. Oh, Jew Texas in 1947. They have four daughters. Okay, so that worked out for him. Bergen and Florence still call Texas home. Oh. So. Sydney Phillips. And Mary Houston Phillips raised three children. Sid became a doctor and practiced medicine in Alabama for 38 wow. years. Sid and Eugene remained best friends for the remainder of Sledge's life. Sid still lives in a small town outside Mobile. Well, we salute you. Definitely. Everyone that served. I didn't see uh, Mickey's character. They didn't. They didn't really say anything about him. Wow. Mm. Wow, indeed. It's a great series. Yeah. <sighs> Which one did you like better? It's the hard to. It's hard to pick one really because they both had, you know, their things that I that I. I thought were very interesting. They showed more background story of the 
the characters here uh, from the Pacific, I guess, yeah. you know. From the I mean, beginning, both, they showed us their family. Yeah, and yeah. More than the... The relationship, so... Right. The, uh, I feel like the band of brothers was a lot, they focused a lot on the relationships between the guys, you know. Between them and, you know, and crazy. They're wounded and they get out of the hospital yeah. just to come back. Yeah, because that's how close they were that they wanted to be there for each other. I mean, not that these guys weren't in the Pacific, but in this one, like you said, they had a lot of family like background as far as that goes. Like they showed us their family life and stuff like that, you know. They're both very good series, I mean. Yeah, I like them both. Uh, amazing, you know, and I'm glad. This guy's in a freeze, but they almost drowned it with all the rain and mud. <laughs> I'm glad that they made these two series because a lot of times people don't realize what it was like for these men, these soldiers and these, you know, military men, where they were in the, in the war, whatever, you know, like it's... Uh, we should have made it more authentic. I think we should have put some buckets of blood, oh pitch my God. blood, no, and poop. And <laughs> I mean, can you just think about flies what buzzing, mosquitoes? They experienced. There's no way that anybody can experience that unless they're there themselves. We drank. We watched this with fully hydrated. Remember that these guys were yeah. dying of thirst, right. 115 degree weather, and nothing to drink. Yeah. I mean, even Eugene said it, like the question that a lot, a lot of them come back with, why did they survive but others didn't, you know, I mean, it's yeah. how sad for them to see so many of their, you know, comrades get killed, you know, yes. or s injured, sick, whatever the case is. <sighs> well, at least Eugene made it. Yeah, but look, he was messed up. He went, he went to school and... <sighs> Not a technical yeah. college. You went. To, what did you study? Biology or something? I can't remember. I read so many of them so fast. I, I I'm gonna have to go back and really like pause it so I'm well, not like rushed. You know. And he, you know, got his master's and became a professor, I guess, at the university. I think it was biology. Yeah. And Amazing. his friend became a doctor. Yeah. And they became they they remained friends until yeah. Sludge died. You know. Well, they all live long lives, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, for the most part, and yeah. we're able to raise a family, mm -hmm. get married, yeah. all that good stuff. Right. Live the American dream. Mm -hmm. Yes, and thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone who has served all these years and continues to serve, because that's the reason we have our freedoms that we have. Yeah, I mean, ever since uh, 1972, I believe, we always had a volunteer army. We haven't had a draft right. in about 50 years, so yeah. that says a lot. Thank you. Thanks for you guys that recommended the series to us. Yes, and, uh, absolutely. Hope you enjoyed our reactions. Like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Join the membership plan. Let us know in the comments what else you want us to watch. All the recommendations. And that's all I got. See you on the next one. Later. Cheers to all.